Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Chance Vanek, real estate agent here in Las Vegas. And on this channel, I do home tours and talk all things Las Vegas, home ownership, and real estate related. Today, we're gonna to be touring this home directly behind me. So let's jump right into it. This house right here is located in West Summerlin in the village of the Vistas. Priced at $875,000, coming in at $290 per foot. We've got a five bedroom home here. Nice curb appeal, as you can see. Off of a quick observation here on the exterior of the home, however, it looks like, you know, we may have to do a little bit of landscape cleanup. We have a couple of bushes that maybe haven't had enough watering over the past frequent months here. And, uh, you know, a little bit of the rocks are starting to, you know, disintegrate and get crushed into the dirt. So probably original landscaping, okay? On the exterior here, we have stucco. We have some stone veneer on the pop out here. And then as well, on this rounded entrance, we've got a Tuscan style home going on. Cool thing about this house is it is a three car garage. The neighborhood itself is very beautiful. I don't know if you can see right above those houses over there, that is the tower at the Red Rock Casino. So you're only minutes away from the Red Rock Casino, about a 20 minute drive on the freeway to downtown Bellagio, Fremont Street. This is a beautiful community. Walking distance right down there is a beautiful park, which is called the South Tower Park here in Summerlin. As I said before, we have five bedrooms four baths, three full baths, one half bath, 3,015 square feet. These oleanders over here are doing very well. As you can see, nice wall of oleanders. Taking us over to the side yard there where we've got the power box and a short wall going into the back yard. Let's step inside of the house and see what it has to offer us. As you can see, the original lock has been replaced and it's been changed out with this. So probably would need a whole new setup here, lock and door. We've got some security feature talking to me. But right when we walk in, we have this giant room that could be used perhaps as a formal living room. You've got the beautiful shutters on all the windows in this super tall ceiling of this room. Then up here you have some pop outs where they've put some artwork and it's divided from the formal, formal dining room. Now, something we don't see too often in the newer homes because uh, open floor plan plans are all the rage these days. Above the door, that's interesting. They continued the curvature style, that Tuscan style. We do have the windows up there as well, allowing some natural light in. This here is a nice engineered wood in this, uh, what could be a formal living room. And then it goes right to the porcelain tile walkway, which are roughly about a 14 by 14 inch. Coming in off the door, got this little linen closet or coat closet where you and your guests would put the coats. Now, as you can see, the grout on this tile looks as if it's black. However, when we come into the closet, you can see from all the years of mopping and the dirt and whatnot, the grout is actually a very, very light beige color. So it would make a drastic difference if you did invest in getting a good grout cleaning, which really can work magic. I just had the grout cleaned at my house or the whole floor cleaned at my house by prime floor cleaning, and boy, was it amazing. 
it's quite amazing. Over here in the bathroom, you can see the same thing. Now I'm curious if they re-grouted over that because it looks like it almost stops there. I wonder if they painted that. Oh, okay, I may stand corrected. So consult with a professional floor cleaner before you make that investment. Powder bath. We've got the original fixtures here, original pedestal sink. But the window coverings continued even through here, looking out right to the front entrance. Cruise over here to the formal dining room. It's got the same engineered hardwood. Very nice. Let's see if we can get some light in there. How's that? There you go. A lot of architectural detail, right, with these cutouts here. And then in the ceiling as well. Nice chandelier to hang directly over your dining table. And then you could put some sort of buffet in that uh, niche over there. And this is directly across from your spiral staircase. That beeping you're hearing is some sort of alarm system. Got a nice wood staircase with carpeted stairs. Very solid wood here. The finish is very nice. Like a thick lacquer, a brown. Continuing on the spiral star staircase, they have more of this curvature coming around, you know, where you could put some art and whatnot up there. This is a unique space. Really, I would imagine you would just put a table with some sort of plant for decorations. And then over here, as we continue towards the living room, we've got the laundry room, very nice sized laundry room, very well illuminated with two lights in the ceiling, plenty of space. Sorry for the uh, lines, if you can see the lines in the video, these lights are flickering somewhat. Um, according to my camera's frame rate, it looks like. We got this laundry sink that was put in here. You could, however, of course, you know, get a bigger cabinet if you would like more countertop space to fold your clothes. Maybe it's something a little bit more aesthetic. This doesn't really go with the feel of the property. Looks like you're missing part of the shelf here. I'm not sure why they would have done that. Perhaps at one time there was perhaps a stackable washer and dryer. And it looks like some sort of ADT security system. And then if you wanted to integrate your house with all the smart features, you could set it up right there. Here's the entrance to the two car garage coming in off the laundry room. Now, how did we miss that door? And where does that door go? So we'll have to take a peek. It does have a deadbolt on it, so that's interesting. Two car garage, electric garage door opener. Looks like the water softener was recently replaced. And we've got a water heater here, 50 gallons with a recirculating pump that is unplugged. Whole house water valve to turn off all the water of the house. I'm very curious where this door is going. Let's see if it opens up. Oh, little closet space directly underneath the stairs. Hmm, had a very big deadbolt on there, so perhaps that's where the father was putting his tools. So his nine-year-old son doesn't borrow them. And then when he, dad needs them, he can't find them. Story of my life. Oh, he's a good boy. My son's a great boy. So let's continue here into the kitchen and living room. Turn on some lights. Do me a favor, everyone. If you're still sticking around, be sure to like the video, subscribe, 
and comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions into how we can improve this channel. I know I've taken somewhat of a hiatus for a little while, had a lot of things going on, stopping me from doing these home tours, but I really do enjoy them and I am back to doing the home tours. So pretty spacious kitchen space here, kitchen area, spacious space, spacious kitchen area. A lot of countertops over there and then I do like how they extended off the end of the countertop for the desk seating area. Again, wonderful wall coverings. These do appear to be a plastic of some sort, so they should last a very, very long time. And they all seem to be in really good shape. We are gonna check out this backyard. A lot of growth out there, very secluded feeling. Giant island over here with the granite countertops matching all the countertops in the kitchen. And we've got this dark maple cabinetry. These cabinets are in really good condition. Cove crown molding. Yeah, cabinets, from what it looks like, from what I can see right now, are in great condition. Okay, what is this? Is this an electric walk? Built-in walk? Okay. Induction walk, is that what that is? Comment down below if you know what that is, but that is very cool. We've got our cooktop here with the stainless steel hood. And we've got our microwave and oven. Nice appliances, actually, very nice appliances. They look to be relatively new, if not very new, but very well kept on the exterior, even the interior of that dishwasher. Oh yeah, this stuff looks brand new. Over here, we've got this little uh, butler's area for more non-perishable storage. Walkway straight into the formal dining room. Then over here, we have a little pantry space. Again, for some non-perishables. Okay, so there is the old microwave. So yes, appliances seem to be very new. So this ceiling in this kitchen is rather high. I'm gonna say it's about nine feet. However, it does feel short just because as we step right over here into the living area, which has this fireplace and all these windows, very nice with the second story balcony area overlooking down here. So this, this ceiling feels a little short just because of how tall the ceiling is over here. So this is a really nice space. You can do a lot with it. Ceiling fan up there looks very new as well. So, you know, this niche area, you can tell this house was built in the early 2000s when we still had square TVs. Right, you guys remember that? So now you would more than likely hang a giant flat screen directly above that fireplace, which one, two, three, four, five, six feet. You can put a very nice sized TV up there and then perhaps do a built-in for your old DVD collection. Totally kidding. Let's step back over here. So on the first floor, it looks like we have our first guest bedroom. Secluded in the back far corner of the home. So very nice. You know, perhaps in-laws quarters. It's got the tub shower, nice marble tile surrounding that tub. Same tile on the floor that we've seen so far throughout the whole downstairs and a vanity with one sink. What have we got going on here? I'm not sure what's going on there. Some sort of electrical setup. Maybe, couldn't even tell you what it had to do with. Near the toilet. 
Okay, so yeah, I stand corrected. It looks definitely like this grout was painted throughout the living space and not in the bathrooms and whatnot, which I so much like the look of the light grout versus that dark grout. This is the first bedroom down here. These windows are very, very large for this room. Standard size of room. Let's walk it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10. I'd say it's gonna be about a 10 by 10. And we can get all the specs for this house. Matter of fact, if you'd like more information on this house, you can always text me. Text me the address at 702-305-3777, and that address is 866-LASCONSA. Or, if you see that QR code up on the screen right now, and you're watching from your TV, go ahead and pull out your smartphone, scan that QR code, and that'll take you directly to a link where you can download my MLS app. And that will give you all the information on this house, not only this house, but every house for sale in Las Vegas. So you're gonna see exactly on that app what us real estate agents see here in Las Vegas. That's super cool, right? Now, if you're watching on a tablet or a smartphone, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Go down into the description here and there'll be a link to download the app as well. Cool thing about the app, on top of seeing all the houses for sale here in Las Vegas, is you can correspond with me directly via messenger in there. So that's pretty cool. So this is the view from up here. I love this. I've always thought this was so cool when you can, you know, just peek down on the family, see what's going on. I love that. Those were my shoes rubbing together, I swear, if you heard that. So we've got some linen storage right here at the top of the stairway. And over here, we've got another built-in desk area, matching cabinetry as downstairs in the kitchen. Looks like someone definitely was doing a lot of studying here. The finish is a little worn off, but that can be touched up. So it looks like perhaps original carpet upstairs. And we're gonna come in here into the primary, very nice sized primary suite. Okay, so these windows, they're so big, and in this room, they fit perfectly, because this room is very large. I, oh, I love this room. You know, the ceiling, very nice. I love those details. Continuing with the shutters throughout, all in great condition. There's that alarm. Not sure if you can see out there. Let's see if we can get through. Oh. We've got an aluminum patio cover, and we are gonna to get to the backyard, so stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe as well. Help me out. I promise I won't abandon you again here on YouTube, all my subscribers. We've been hovering around 1,100 now for about a year, and that's my own fault, because I haven't been posting, but I have been working diligently helping people buy and sell houses here in Las Vegas. So nice sized primary bathroom. Okay, right over here, got the little area, beauty bar, if you will. I'm not sure what's happening here. Perhaps we need some more support for this area. Maybe someone sat on it. Okay, so that would definitely have to be looked at during your home inspection to see what we would need to do to get rid of that because we can't have this little piece of wood holding that up. Again, with this electronic device. It does appear to have some sort of foreign writing there. So I am not sure what that is. If anyone knows what that is, please comment down below. We've got a very large jetted tub here. Look at the size of this tub spout. <laughs> it's like a uh, Rolls Royce hood ornament. Original cultured marble surrounding both this shower and the tub. One of the great things about this cultured marble is, man, does it stay clean. I and mean, this has got to be the original shower. However, I'm personally not a fan of the look of this cultured marble, this particular one, but man, does it stay clean. 
it does match the countertops on both sides of this bathroom. We'll walk in here, check out this primary closet, nice and spacious. Plenty of room for hanging clothes. So far, all the doors that I've seen in this house are in great condition. Six panel doors. Let's go check the other bedrooms. Priced at $290 per foot as of now, that is very competitively priced for this area. This area of town, we have some houses, you know, within a mile of here in excess of $600 per foot. And if you watch a lot of the channels around here on YouTube in regards to Las Vegas, specifically the Summerlin area, you'll know that uh, the price tag on this area is much, much higher than other areas throughout the valley. This is a nice sized bedroom, okay? Very nice sized. Let's walk it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve and a half feet. So I'm going to say twelve and a half by twelve and a half. Very nice size. Ceiling fan is in great shape. Again, six panel door. These are nice features on these doors, having the six panels versus the flat white. They're all in great shape. We got the double vanity here, this walk through bathroom. Again, with the cultured marble countertop, dark maple cabinets, same throughout the house. And again, it's a nice marble tiling around this tub shower. Again, with that electrical outlet by the toilets. I wonder what that's for. Someone please tell me. We've got this super duper shower head here. Okay, fancy, fancy. And then this little built-in, I'm not really sure what could happen there. I don't know if you would sit on that, shave your legs or something, I'm not entirely sure. If you have any ideas, let me know. Another guest bedroom. This is about the same size as the one downstairs. Nice size closet to go with it, however, with the tall ceilings that we've seen in all these bedrooms. So this house appears to be in very good condition. Now, when you do your home inspection, of course they would give you details on things beyond what the eye can see. Like for instance, you'd wanna know the age of the air conditioning units. With this house being about 20 years old, they could potentially be the originals and you'd wanna know what condition they're in. If they are older, highly recommend home warranty. Let's head out to the backyard. For those of you who are still with me, I appreciate you. I appreciate you all so much. If you could be so kind to subscribe, hit the like button, drop me a comment. Hope you have a great day. I hope your Thanksgiving was amazing. I had a great Thanksgiving and I'm looking forward to an amazing Christmas with the family. Okay, check it out. I do like these travertine pavers going all the way across the backside of this home right when we come off or out of this rear entry we have this checkered pattern porcelain tile ceramic tile underneath this aluminum patio cover We've got these cool track lights right here set up some nice seating and whatnot tiny little door getting out here you don't have a slider so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm so used to having a slider to get to the rear of a house. Now I do like this. This is a great feature. The sidewalk all the way down the side. Here in Summerlin, you can't leave your trash cans 
in eyesight of the neighbors. So you would more than likely either leave them in your garage. I put mine in my backyard. Actually, I only live minutes away from here. Uh, it would be a little difficult probably to get your trash cans through this terrain because it's very steeply sloped towards the front of the house. But this is a nice feature. This would be great. You know, my kids have bikes and they take up so much space in my garage. You could, you know, maybe build a bike lock or something, bike rack down here. We've got these tall, tall, look how tall those cypress trees are. Along the back wall, the double tiered retaining wall that goes all the way across the back of this house. Very nice. I like it. The red brick, you know, you don't see that much red paver stone and retaining wall paver anymore, but it's a nice touch. You know, because those cypress trees are elevated already about four feet and they've got to be well over 20 feet tall, 25 feet tall, they are way up there. So very nice. You know, could probably definitely use an updating with the rocks here. All right, so it looks like one of the condensers, we've got dual ACs. This appears to be perhaps original. That one over there is newer. And we would find out the details of that in the home inspection. But it is a nice sized backyard. Well, my friends, that's it for today's tour. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions on this property, feel free to comment down below. Give me a call, shoot me a text, 702-305-3777. Again, that QR code right there, that's going to take you to a link where you can download my MLS app. Type in the address 866-LASCONSA. Uh, that will give you all the information you would need to know about this property. Uh, also, you can see all the houses for sale in Las Vegas. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, my phone number, my email, all that stuff's in the description down below. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.